You know, I thought our kids came out and played hard. Um, and uh, that's one thing I don't think I've had to question the entire year is our desire to play hard. Uh, how I would you know, we had some opportunities that block, not block, but that um, kickoff, a punt return. That was a real momentum breaker for us. Uh, if you watch our sideline, as Terrence is running by and making a, making a big play, you can see the, the whole sideline uh, getting real enthused about it. And then when we realized that they had called us for a penalty, uh, that was very questionable. Uh, it took a lot of air out of the team. And, uh, and then they were able to respond and get go up 14 to nothing when the score should have been really tied. Uh, that just changed the whole complexion of the ball. Robert was saying that they had a chance to watch it on ESPNU and kind of watched it together and stuff. And he said it's the first time they really kind of seen a game that way. Is that maybe a, a good thing for the young guys and everybody to kind of see it live like that and just kind of see the mistakes? You know, I know you guys watch film and, and you break things down, but seeing from a, a different aspect. Uh, I think I think it helps, um, particularly when you know you as a coach is trying to convey a message to them. About opportunities to make plays and things of that sort, and, uh, and then you get a different perspective from the announcers who watch the game, and the uh, film is not as grainy uh, and that kind of stuff. And so, uh, uh, I think whenever you can gain another perspective on anything, uh, you can use that as a tool to help you to get better. What is your message now after the Magic City Classic game to the rest of your team? Yeah, that was a game. Magic City Class was a game. Don't get me wrong. Was it a big game? Absolutely. Uh, that game had a lot of meaning to it. Meaning to it. But so does the next one. And, you know, we all claim that we love the sport. We all claim that we are so thankful and grateful to be coaches uh, and players, student athletes. And because you didn't, the season isn't going the way you desired it to go. That's not a reason to quit. That is never a reason to quit. Whenever the good Lord uh, and the people involved give you an opportunity, you got to coach a game, you got to play a game, it's supposed to do your absolute best. And anyone, and as I said to my team, anyone who don't share that attitude, don't, just don't show up. We're going at this game full speed full tilt, however you want to call it. And we're going to put forth our best effort. And we're going to go down there and play this football game as if everything is still on the line. Because in, that, in reality, it is. Every time you go out there, you're always playing to win the game. If you're going out there for any other purpose than to put forth your best effort to win the game, you have missed the message completely. What was the mood like yesterday when the players got back in? I mean, the mood after we played the game, of course, everybody was down. and. Uh, somber or whatever you want to call it, and uh, we go back and get back and get data. Think about what the mistakes that you made and the opportunities that you didn't take advantage of. And, and then you got to let it go. You got to let it go and you got to move on. And that's what our attitude is. Uh, we're going to try to work to get better, try to fix some of the mistakes that we're making, and try to give ourselves a chance to be successful the following week. And that's been the attitude. How frustrating is it for you? You see some of these mistakes, and, and you go over them in practice, and you go over them, and, you, and they still arise on Saturday. You, you try to fix them, but then still keep them back. You know, as I mentioned on the show, it's just like being a father. You know, sometimes you got to tell your kid the same message, your son, his daughter, the same message, and sometimes they get it the first time. Sometimes it takes several times for them to get it. And um, as long as I'm in this position, I'm going to treat it like I'm a father. Keep pressing the positive message. Try to get these guys to understand it. And when we all come to that aha moment, uh, you know, we'll be amazed. I mean, we had an aha moment uh, in the game when Brandon threw the touchdown. He had that opportunity a couple times, and, but this time he, he chose everything. He did everything the right way. And it, and it looked so easy. And that's what I told him. I said, when you do it that way, it's easy. Uh, we just got to remember to do it that way. We got to keep our emotions in check and get
get it done. But we'll keep pressing. We'll keep find, trying to find ways to teach the right lessons. How do you keep it? We talked some Saturday. The defense has carried this team. Really carried it for most of the game Saturday. How do you keep the offense and defense from point fingers? You know, like anybody who points fingers don't understand the concept of a team. Uh, there were moments in the ball game that we all had, offensively, defensively, and special teams, that could have made a difference. Um, you know, there's just moments like that. Um, at times, our defense played well. At times, our offense played well. At times, our special teams played well. And at times, unfortunately, all three played bad. Um, and so I don't think it's ever the appropriate time to point fingers. Like I said, if you're going to be a part of a team, you're going to be a part of a team. You need to be a part of a team the whole way, not just when it's going good. The message of moving on has been preached several times this year after a couple of tough losses and always had the classic ahead to look forward to. Are you, how, do you think it's any different? Do you think the message needs to be any different at this point with the four games remaining to keep them on, uh, keep them on par? Yeah, I mean, of course. I, I think the message stays the same. Like I mentioned before, it's time to move on. Okay? Each opportunity you had to move on, after that opportunity is exhausted, you lose that opportunity. And this is no exception. The Magic City Classic is over. This one ball game is one out of 12. Okay, is it an important game? Of course it is. Is the one we can replay uh, next week against our corner? Of course it is. This is the opportunity that we have. Take advantage of it. There's, what, what can we do about the Magic City Classic that hasn't already been done? Absolutely nothing. So we got to move on. And we're going to move on, get ready for our form, and we'll take each steps as we always do. All right, we have Brandon Williams, man, as well as Monterey.